a very happy, healthy Friday to you. It's 11.11. My uh, other phone is not cooperating, so happily, my backup phone is here for me. Hmm. As usual, I'm out here in the head hut just ah, to do a little stretching, a little strengthening, a little moving the body, a little body check, and uh, hold myself accountable and invite you to join me to whatever degree you feel like it. If you feel like it, I encourage you to do a little ah, breathing. A little letting go, a little stretching, maybe a push-up or two. Uh, whatever else you do, don't forget to breathe and smile. Unless you prefer holding your breath and scowling, you can try that too. It's up to you. It's your life after all. <laughs> I'm going to try breathing and smiling and... Uh, <sighs> Start with a couple breaths just to bring my awareness into the bottoms of my feet. Root myself into the center of the earth. Hang myself from the center of the universe or the sky. Is that the same thing? <laughs> I'm still feeling silly, so I got that going for me. Happy to say. I'm going to go ahead and roll down nice and slow. Just checking in with the spine this morning. And then hang from the hips, letting gravity do some more unwinding. Shake out the hair a little bit and the neck. Just give that a couple breaths to get a little longer. <laughs> and I'm going to bend the knees, swing the arms back, come into a bit of a back bend. Bringing the gaze up, pushing the hips forward. Just still checking in with the spine this morning. Let's do a nice another forward fold, this time with a flat back. Kind of swan dive down toward the ground. And then maybe back up. Still flat back. Let's come back into the back bend. Just a slight back bend. And then one more time, swan diving down. Hands toward four, just releasing all that, hanging in the spine off the hips. I'm going to come up par part way into a forward fold from the waist, pulling back in the abdomen, up in the pelvic floor, and give myself a nice good morning hug. Left elbow over right to start. Squeezing the shoulders, maybe give a little rub, pulling those shoulder blades apart. Tucking the chin and rounding the spine. Mm, and then releasing all of that back toward the floor. Again, hanging from the hips. Shaking that out a little bit. Let's do just a little twisting over to the left and over to the right. And then back to center and up this time, right elbow over left. Again, pulling up in the pelvic floor, back in the abdomen. Tucking the chin, rolling the spine, or rounding the spine a little bit. Pulling the shoulder blades apart. Give a nice little, a little squeeze to those shoulders. Feels good. And then one more time, releasing all of that toward the floor, hanging from the hips. Shaking out the neck a little bit. And then let's roll up this time, nice and slow, stacking one vertebra on the next. Just seeing how the spine is doing this morning. I'm going to do just a little gentle twisting, taking weight off the right and going to the left, weight off the left, going to the right, just letting the hands hang freely, still just warming up the spine. I'm going to step back with that left foot into a moderate lunge. I might have to scooch my rug out of the way there so I don't slip around. Pulling the back hip forward and forward hip back. Tipping the tailbone a little bit. Pushing that back heel into the ground. Let's bring the arms up overhead, making sure not to crunch up in the shoulders. And I'm going to put 
push onto the diagonal a little bit, sliding that back heel out a little further. Still making sure not to crunch past the toes with that front knee and still trying to bring hips into a perpendicular line by pulling the back hip forward and forward hip back a little bit. Hmm. And then coming back up to more straight up and down, tucking that tailbone under a little bit. And then I'm going to shift that back heel onto the perpendicular line, opening the hips now. Check out this side plane here. And then sliding that back heel out a little further, bending from the hip into a side triangle using my right arm and leg against each other for torque. Lifting the left fingers up and gazing past them. Mm, giving the internal organs just a little squeeze. And then I'm gonna increase that twist a little bit by bringing this arm back and around, reaching for that thigh. Gazing out past that long leg behind me or to the side of me as the case now is. And then unwinding all that, bringing that hand down on the inside of the right leg for a nice deep lunge here. And then bringing weight onto both hands and bringing that front leg back to meet the back leg. Pressing through palms, up the arms, through the spine. Tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head now, the opposite way, and pressing those heels into the ground. I'm gonna bend the right knee and press more into the left, letting the hips tip. Bending the left knee and pressing into the right heel. And then again, pressing into the left and pressing into the right. And one more time, pressing into the left pressing into the right, and now pressing into both heels, nice and long line from the palms, through the arms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. Let's bring the body forward now, lifting the chest through the shoulders, bringing legs together, lifting the eyes and dropping the belly, making sure not to crunch down or sink or collapse in the shoulders. Hmm. And then lifting those hips, pressing back again through palms, up the spine, tipping the tailbone, pushing both heels down, and then I'm going to swing that left foot forward in between the hands for a nice deep lunge on that side. Mm, I like to bounce there a little bit. You can bounce if it feels good to you to bounce or don't bounce if you don't like bouncing. <sighs> I'm going to step forward, bringing that back foot forward to meet the front foot and hang here again in forward fold, just letting the spine unwind, hanging from the hips. And I'm going to bend the knees, swing the arms back, come into that Back bend again, lifting the eyes, pushing the hips forward. Just a gentle back bend, nothing too extreme. Coming back to neutral, and then I'm gonna step back with the right foot this time. Still looking for a perpendicular line in the hips by pulling that back hip forward, forward hip back, tipping the tailbone a little bit, pushing into that back heel, hanging my spine from the sky, looking for a nice long line in the abdomen and the spine working together. Bringing the arms up overhead, making sure not to crunch up in the shoulders, and then pushing through that heel onto the diagonal line. Just like that diagonal line sensation, sliding that back heel out just a little bit for that, and then pulling the, the body back upright by tipping the tailbone under again. And I'm going to swing this back heel forward a little bit so it's on the perpendicular line. Now opening the hips and looking for the side plane here. Sliding the feet out a little bit wider. <sighs> and then bending from the hips into another side triangle. This time using left arm and leg against each other for torque and support. And bringing the right hand up to gaze past those fingertips, 
giving the internal again organs organs <laughs> a slight squeeze and then increasing that twist just a little bit by bringing this hand around and behind and to reach for that thigh gazing out past that long leg hmm don't forget to breathe and smile, whatever else you're doing. I'm gonna unwind that and bring this hand down on the inside of the left for a nice deep lunge on this side. I'm gonna scooch around here a little bit and then bring that, bring my weight onto my palms and bring that front leg back to meet the back leg, pressing through palms, through arms, through spine, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head and pressing the heels into the floor. Let's open the hips a little bit, this time bringing weight onto the right foot and lifting the left foot first with hips closed, so still facing the floor and then opening that hip, letting the foot fall over to the right. Let's get a little visual confirmation of toes there and a, a little ankle rotation. I find this very challenging, so I like to try to do it. The rotation, that is. The stretch feels good to me. Pressing into that right heel and just opening that left hip. And then closing that hip. Let's go straight up again with that left leg. Pressing through the palms. Looking for a nice straight line sensation from the fingers to the toes. <laughs> Try not to slip on the floor. And then bringing that foot down. Pressing into both heels again before lifting the right foot straight up at first, keeping that hip closed toward the floor. Mm. And then opening that hip, letting the foot fall, looking for confirmation over the left shoulder. Maybe some ankle rotation on that side. If I can do it, I think I can, I think I can. I can, I can, barely, but I can. <sighs> Pressing into that stretch a little bit, still opening the hip, and then closing the hip again toward the floor, and lifting that leg long behind me, looking for another straight line sensation from fingertips out the toes, still trying not to slide on the floor, and then bringing that leg down. And again, pressing into both heels, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. And then let's swing forward, bringing the chest through the shoulders, bringing legs together, lifting eyes, lifting chest, and dropping the belly. Mm. Just trying to relax the belly and really let it release. Gives me a nice stretch in the low back, still pulling those legs together. Or support of that low back and then lifting the hips pressing through palms through arms up the spine tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head pressing into both heels and swinging that right foot up in between both hands again I like to do a gentle bounce you bounce if you like to bounce or don't bounce if you don't like to bounce and I'm going to bring weight onto hands and foot and bring that back foot forward to meet the front foot and hang here in a forward fold. <sighs> Let's bring hands behind back from here, pressing palms, bringing elbows towards each other, shoulders towards each other. Get a nice stretch through the chest and the shoulder blades. Wiggle that around gently, exploring that stretch a little to the left, a little to the right. Maybe left again, just using the muscles in the arms to stretch the shoulders and the chest. Still just trying to relax through the belly. Mm. And then I'm going to lift up, pressing through the feet with a straight back, relatively unfolding from the hip. Coming into another back bend, a little bit deeper this time, pulling down with both fingertips, supporting the neck with the shoulders, and then come back 
to neutral. Shake that out a little bit. Do a little shaking it out. <sighs> and just let the arms swing and hang a little, alternating left over right and right over left and left over right, right over left. Just shaking out the tension and the stress. Letting go of the past like it was yesterday. Let's do a little more arm stretching, bringing left arm across the body, dropping that shoulder, tilting the head away from that shoulder for a nice stretch in the neck and the shoulder and the arm. And then releasing that, going to the other side, bringing the right arm across body. I'm really using my left hand to do the stretching and trying to relax that arm, dropping the shoulder and tipping the head away from that shoulder for a stretch in the neck. Mm, releasing all that again. I'm gonna bring weight onto the right foot and bring this left knee up toward left shoulder. And let's reach for the bottom of that foot and bring that knee up a little higher, tucking the tailbone under, making sure to stay relaxed in that supporting foot and leg. And then straightening this leg out for a front forward fold in the air. <sighs> I'm going to release with the right and bring that out to the left. Just a little more encouragement for that leg to relax. Maybe do a little pulling with the arm. <sighs> a little stabilizing with the other arm. I do encourage you to stay close to a wall or a doorway for this exercise or lay down flat on the floor. You can try it that way too. Putting my foot in close to the groin, I'm gonna swing this knee out, trying not to counter lean, still trying to tuck that tailbone under. Mm. Imagine myself a mountain covered in trees. Hmm. Releasing all that. Bringing my left weight onto my left and bringing that right knee up toward right shoulder. <sighs> Making sure to relax in the shoulders, taking the tailbone under a bit. Relaxing in that supporting foot and bringing this knee up a little higher. And then straightening that leg out front. Give that a breath or so to release, and then I'm gonna let go with the left, bring it out to the right. Still trying to encourage this leg to relax a little bit, try not to counter lean too much, trying to stay nice and long and strong through the abdomen and the spine. Let's pull with that arm a little for a little increased stretch. And then bending that knee, putting the foot on the supporting leg, swinging this knee back. Tipping the tailbone under, relaxing that supporting foot. Hmm. Again, I'm just gonna press palms together. Fingertip to fingertip, palm to palm. Helps kinda balance the energy of the body. And imagine myself a strong mountain covered in trees, changing leaves. Maybe a little breeze. Hmm. <sighs> Gotta remind myself often to relax those shoulders. <sighs> and then releasing all that. Shake that out. Let's do just a little gentle qigong. I'm gonna lift the arms, circle, and then step back with the left foot. Pushing that energy back and breathing out. And then coming back to center, circling the arms, stepping back the other way to the right, and adding the breath, breathing in, and out. Coming back to center. 
shake all that out. I feel like leaving you with a, a little visual of Miss Saffy Cat relaxing on the bed with her dirty cat self. I hope you're remembering to relax, breathe, smile, take care of you. Peace.